Hillary and I'm 11 years old. I am Tristan and I am 9 years old. I am Emma and I am 8 years old. And I'm Sylvia Earle and I'm 86 years old. <laughs> Have I ever seen a shark? Yes. Oh yes. More people eat sharks than sharks eat people. Now, I'm afraid when I go into the ocean and I don't see sharks, that's scary. What first inspired you to become a marine biologist? What inspired me to be a marine biologist? It was so easy. <laughs> when I was younger than you, three years old, I got knocked over by a wave. And at first it was a little scary, but then I realized that was fun. I mean, it really was. Uh, when I got tossed around and I realized that I could breathe, my head came out of the water. But what I love about the ocean most of all is that there's life in the ocean. It's not just water. It's water plus lots of creatures. And getting acquainted with those creatures, that's what really got my attention. And it still holds my attention. I can't wait to get back in the ocean and see who's out there, because they're all just such great creatures. They're jellyfish and sponges and, of course, fish. But there's a lot more than that. Have you ever been in like a submarine and lived like in the ocean for like more than a week? Yeah, I've had the fun of living underwater 10 times. You stay underwater for a whole week, two weeks, in fact. You get to see creatures day and night. What's your favorite marine animal? My favorite marine animal? Well, I think my favorite marine creature is a human being. And you say, we don't live in the water, but imagine, if, if there wasn't an ocean, we couldn't live either. The ocean makes Earth habitable. So we are sea creatures. We need the ocean. No ocean, no sharks. No ocean, no humans. Will the coral reefs die if this continues? Well, coral reefs currently are in trouble. I've seen the loss of about half during the time I've been exploring the ocean. But the good news is about half of them are still there. We still have a good chance to restore good health. Maybe we can't bring all of them back, but we can certainly help those that still remain. How did the, half the coral reef disappear? How did they die? Well, because of the warming of the planet, because we've been putting things into the atmosphere that have caused the planet to warm, we've been putting things into the ocean, that are not healthy for the ocean, including excess carbon dioxide that occurs when you burn fossil fuels in the ocean becomes carbonic acid. The ocean becomes more acidic. And that's not good for the corals that have a, a calcium carbonate structure that in an acid environment starts to dissolve and it weakens the structure of the coral. So it all ties together. What we put into the atmosphere, it goes into the ocean, becomes, or changes the chemistry of the ocean, it affects not just the corals, but it probably has effect on all forms of life, including the plankton. Healthy ocean means healthy people.